Ravens block. Overshot that one just a little bit. I should probably take that sign down for the day. No, actually they should leave it up. This is way better. Okay. They told me the Saturn was stuck. But they didn't say that it was stuck because it got mashed into the bank by a semi. So, let's figure that one out. Okay, so I recruited the cop. He works for me now. He's in the car. Now we're gonna try to pull it off this truck. There we go. Well, that worked. Yeah, get out of the ditch. Or back in the ditch, whatever. We'll get it. Just pull him over here. That a boy. Should give him a raise. He's a good dude. Okay. So we're gonna pull this truck with this truck, with a little 3 8 chain that's, uh, we'll see how this goes. The cop down there is not impressed. Okay, let's get this one out of the way now. Oh, turn back that way a little, right there. Don't rear end your buddy. Or do, whatever. It's fine. Oh, that's a super good chain job. Nice. That was a super good chain job, too. Oh, there goes the trailer. Oh, he got it. This is going well. There you go. Okay, we got both the semis out and headed down the hill. I don't know if they actually made it to the bottom, but I don't really care. That's not my part of it. We got my car, opened the road, and headed home. Well, we got this one dropped off at the Cascade Heavy Rescue Storage lot, which is also just the horse pasture. So now we got to go back to the exact same spot on the exact same hill and get another one. And make quick stop on the way. Can't have the mail be late. Easy. Perfect. Okay, we're back here to the same spot as the semis to get 
that U-Haul truck. It wasn't part of the accident at all. Just some lady that decided she did not want to deal with this snow driving bullshit anymore. She got out, said the keys are under the seat, and walked off. Where the hell she went out here, nobody knows. So, we're going to tow it back to U-Haul. Alright, let's take this thing back home, and then maybe we can go home. That would be cool. Hey, got the truck in the shop where it barely fits. Got the heater going to melt everything off and thaw out all the gear so we can use it again tomorrow. And I am not going to take the tire chains off, because if I do, sure as I get a phone call right now and have to go back out tonight. And I kind of don't want to do that because I want to go to bed. So I'm going to leave them on so that I'm ready to go so that no one calls.